Hi guys, Luke from Trout River Industries here today and we're going to give you guys some tips on buying a used trailer. We want to make sure you know that this checklist is not Trout River specific. This is for any brand of live bottom trailer. I've written down some questions to ask when you're going to look at a used live bottom trailer. Number one, reason for selling. Number two, does everything work? Number three, what was it used for? And this is a good question because some materials wear more or are more corrosive, so the trailer may be in worse shape. Number four, what maintenance and service has it had? It might be in your best interest to do some research before you go to look at the trailer. It's good to know the cost range for a specific brand. It's good to know if parts are easily available because downtime costs money. And if you can mark down the VIN, you can call up the manufacturer and they may be able to tell you some information that otherwise would not be available. Three things you could bring when you go to look at this trailer is a flashlight, this checklist, and a pen. This section's on the tub inspection. The tub is where all the action goes on, so you want to check closely for cracks. You want to check for wear. You want to check for dents. There's a long list of places to check, but you can check these things out on the tub inspection checklist. For your conveyor inspection, you can look in the trailer, you can look under the trailer, and you can look through your inspection doors. Again, there are many things to look at and they're all listed on the checklist. For the bogey inspection, there's a few things you want to check. Most of these are under the trailer. You want to check again for rust and cracks. You want to check all the parts of the bogey and suspension. Most of that you can see just underneath with a flashlight. You can crouch down, see if it's an air or a spring suspension, see if it's disc or drum brakes, see what kind of condition the tires are in and so on and so forth. For our power systems inspection, you want to check all your power systems, starting with electric, then air, then hydraulic. First you want to check all your plugs at the front of the trailer, make sure they're in good condition. Although these are not expensive to replace, little things add up. To check for condition of wires and air lines, a good place to start is the wire tray underneath the trailer. This is what houses all the wires and air lines that run from the front of the trailer to the rear. For the hydraulic system, most of what you want to check is on the outside of the trailer. You want to check your steel lines, your rubber lines, you want to check your valves, your motors, your gearbox. Just make sure there's no major leaks or rust. This is a checklist for you to use when checking out a used live bottom trailer. Thanks so much for watching, and if you ever have any questions on Trout River trailers, don't hesitate to contact me. If you're ever in the market for a new live bottom, be sure to consider Trout River Industries.